<laughs> oh no, this can't be happening now again. Let's talk about it. Before that, this video is brought to you by Filmora X. Filmora X is a great fast video editing program that allows you to make professional looking videos on Windows and Mac OS. With easy to use features like keyframing, motion tracking, and green screens, you'll be able to put together your masterpiece in no time. And version 10.5 includes new features such as AI portrait, which lets you quickly add cool effects to people or objects, auto reframe, making it easier than ever to keep your subjects the focus of the video, and audio effects such as typing on a keyboard to help your video stand out. So if you're interested in a great fast video editing program, be sure to click the link in the description below. So do you remember how many, many months ago there was rumors about a potential 16 gigabyte variant of the RTX 3070? Pepperidge Farm remembers, and I remember too. Well, many months later, we've gotten even more rumors about a potential 16 gigabyte RTX 3070 Ti this time. And you know, not too long ago, we were talking about how it was gonna be coming out very, very soon. Well, it looks like yet again, there has been yet another delay. It seems like a 16 gigabyte version of the RTX 3070 is just always out of our grasp, constantly getting delayed. It's just been delay after delay for this version of this card. And and it seems like just absolutely everyone wants this exact card as 16 gigabytes of VRAM is definitely going to last you long into the future and with the help of DLSS as well as it already being a very powerful GPU it would be a GPU that a lot of people would love to get their hands on and just keep holding on to for a very long time well it looks like you're gonna have to wait just that little bit longer because like I mentioned yes it looks like there has been yet another delay for this card as well as the potential 12 gigabyte variant of the RTX 3080 so let's go ahead and take a look at what video cards had to say about this as this is where I'm getting this information and it will be linked in the description below and then we're going to talk about why they're even releasing these cards and what it means for you as a gamer. So according to videocards.com it looks like the 16 gigabyte version of the RTX 3070 Ti was originally going to be announced on December 17th with availability sometime in January. Well it looks like that's not going to be the case any longer as according to video cards that has now been pushed back past the Chinese New Year and now it's going to be more like sometime in February. So, yep, we got yet again another delay here. And with the RTX 3080 12 gigabyte, uh, the release date for that is still unknown. And that one's definitely a very bizarre card. We'll talk about that in just a minute. Now, as for the RTX 3090 Ti, it looks like that is still on schedule to be released sometime in January, possibly being announced by the end of December here. And if you don't know, the 3090 Ti is basically going to be the 3090 with the full die with just a few more CUDA cores on top of what the 3090 RTX already has as well as slightly higher memory bandwidth with the 16 gigabit modules that are going to be released here shortly allowing them to also put all 24 gigabytes of VRAM on the front of the card as well. Now with the RTX 3080 12 gigabyte much like the 3090 it's basically going to be just a slightly faster version of the 3080 except for you are getting those extra 2 gigabytes of VRAM as many people have wanted for a long time and the 3070 Ti looks like it's going to be basically identical. Possibly you'll be getting slightly higher memory bandwidth uh, but overall I wouldn't expect any more performance out of it except for you're getting the full 16 gigabytes of VRAM versus the 8 on the current RTX 3070 Ti. Now, you might be asking the question, why would they even release these cards? I mean, they already have so many GPUs being developed on the GA102. You got the RTX 3090, you got the 3080 Ti, and you also have the 3080 with the 10 gigabytes of VRAM, and now they're going to throw in a 3090 Ti as well as a 3080 12 gigabyte all on the same GPU die. I mean, why would they do this, and why would they finally, at this point in time, release a 16 gigabyte? gigabyte version of the 3070 Ti when we all know that at least at one point in time that VRAM was a limiting factor in how many cards they could produce. Well, actually, I think there's a good reason for this. In fact, I think there's two good reasons for this. So the first reason, let's go ahead and talk about the memory because I think this is actually one of the main factors as to why they're doing this and it's going to make it so that it's not a limiting factor. So if you've been paying attention, it looks like many memory manufacturers have now been starting to release uh, new 16 gigabit versions of GDDR6 with higher clock speeds and if you don't know right now all of the cards that Nvidia is releasing are using 8 gigabit modules which means that they're 1 gigabyte per module so if you have you know 8 modules on something like the RTX 3070 and they're 8 gigabit well you can only have a total of 8 gigabytes on that card however if you're getting these 16 gigabit modules that are now being newly produced that allows you to put double the amount of VRAM on the card and it also isn't going to necessarily mean that you're having to take double the amount of wafers for that amount of VRAM and in in fact, it could actually allow you to produce even more cards 
because now you're not going to be limited by how many 8 gigabit modules you can get from these companies. You also have potentially even more of this memory coming in the form of these 16 gigabit modules, which could actually give you even more supply. So actually, I think this is a move from NVIDIA to try and increase their supply by diversifying their product stack by having some of them use the 8 gigabit modules and some of them use the 16 gigabit modules. So to me, I think that makes a lot of sense, but there's yet one more reason as to why I believe NVIDIA would be doing this. And of course, knowing NVIDIA, yes, it's going to be nefarious. And that second reason is well to push prices up. So if you take a look at the RTX 3080, this thing has an MSRP of 700 US dollars. And looking at the current market, yeah, NVIDIA is probably thinking to themselves, wow, I wish we would have released this thing at like 800, 900 or even a thousand US dollars. And how can we push those prices up? Because we don't want to sell our founders edition at a marked up price as that's going to make us look really bad. Well, what they could do is, of course, re-release a new version of the card that basically doesn't cost them any more to produce, but they can charge you a whole lot more for, and that would be something like the RTX 3080 12 gigabyte, because yes, it's not a 3080 Ti, and yes, it is going to cost a little bit more to give you that 12 gigabytes of VRM versus the current 10 on the 3080, but the increase in cost is going to be very minimal, and it's going to allow them to charge you a whole lot more. For example, they could say that the MSRP on this thing is now 800 or even 900 US dollars versus 700 on the original RTX 3080, allowing them to make a whole lot more money, and likewise, you could see something like the RTX 3070 Ti 16 gigabyte also coming in at a much higher price point, potentially even like 700 US dollars plus, again, allowing them to make a whole bunch more money and not really costing them a whole lot more as again, those 16 gigabit modules probably aren't going to be a whole lot more expensive and it's just going to allow them to produce more cards. But hey, that's just what I think. Why do you think NVIDIA is releasing these new cards? Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments below and of course, I'll see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, AMD and NVIDIA get more stock. Also, if you want to see more, click here. You won't be disappointed.